All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Our webinar today is Establishing Trust Through Location Marketing. I'd like to take some time to introduce our speakers. Our first speaker is Wayne Ha. He is a digital project manager for Carriage Services, comprised of 200 plus service locations. He draws upon two decades of experience in the IT and digital search field and has a proven track record of successes from a wide range of IT and digital search projects over the years. Wayne is responsible for SEO, SEM, social media optimization, and reputation management. Wayne has ownership of over 200 plus digital assets, including 150 plus individual websites and brands, Google My Business pages, Facebook business pages, other companies Wayne has worked for includes Halliburton, Intertech, Koch Business Solutions, J.P. Morgan Chase, and more. Wayne, why don't you go ahead and say hello? Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. All right. Thanks, Wayne. Happy to have you. Our second speaker is Marissa Schneider. She is the VP Operations for North America at Uberall. A graduate of the U University of Mannheim, Marissa spent six years working in operations and project product management for Reach Local in Europe and held a brief tenure at Booking.com before taking the helm as VP of Operations North America for Uberall. She is also a certified Google AdWords and Prince2 professional. Marissa, why don't you say hello and take it away? Hello. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Wayne. Um, before we dive in, I'd like to talk to you all about the title of today's webinar. It's Establishing Trust Through Location Marketing. So, as you know, all brands rely on building trust. But care-oriented brands like healthcare, childcare, and you know, especially funeral care, are particularly sensitive when it comes to brand approach and reputation. So decision-making for care services is typically highly emotional, which means that service providers must present a frictionless experience. They often have only one chance to make a strong, trustworthy impression. This is especially true in the death care industry including funeral and cemetery operations, where brands must be front and center when bereaved relatives seek their services. It's not enough to passively hope clients will find you or to rely on word of mouth. Brands must take active measures to establish and curate a reliable, caring, and trusted brand. So Wayne, we're going to talk about how Carriage Services is tackling this challenge with the help of location marketing. Can you tell us a little bit about Carriage Services? Uh, certainly. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, once again, Carry Services, uh, we operate 200 funeral homes throughout the nation. Uh, we're both in the uh, city markets and uh, suburban markets as well, uh, rural markets. Uh, it's quite a diverse um, field that uh, we occupy. Um, it's a relatively new company. Uh, we've got about 2,000 employees. And um, the unique business model with Carry Services is that we are decentralized. What that means is that each of our locations operates on its own identity and brand. Um, this was, translates to approximately, uh, Caroline said this at the beginning, but uh, unique challenges with 150 different individual websites, 150 different Facebook pages. Uh, you can imagine uh, the amount of craziness that kind of leads to on the online world there. So uh, that, that is carriage in a nutshell. Certainly not a trendy or glamorous topic, but it's very niche and unique. Uh, so the challenging question always becomes, how do you market and digitally represent the death care industry that uh, we are in? Back to you, Marissa. Absolutely, cool. Thank you, Wayne. So talking about overall, our mission is to help local businesses be found wherever consumers are searching for their products or services, and we help them manage their reputation online. So. Today, we serve a large number of enterprise customers and strategic partners worldwide. And we're managing more than, you know, around 850,000 locations globally. We believe in empowering businesses to sell more and get better reviews with the help of our technology and a brilliant team of more than 250 location marketing experts in the USA and EMEA. So Wayne, what were your challenges when we first started to work together? That's about a year ago. Yeah, it's actually a little bit more than a year. We just uh, renewed the contract mm -hmm. with you guys. So uh, definitely 12 <laughs> plus months. <laughs> uh, it's been a happy experience. Um, as strange as it sounds, uh, we did not understand the concept of uh, our online presence too well. Uh, my task, my role 
uh, with the past four years that I've been here was to kind of get a handle on that. And the first piece is obviously uh, we believe in getting the baseline structure uh, correct. That's going to mean uh, you folks in the SEO space know this, but getting your citations and NAP consistent, uh, having to do the work manually to go out and claim in each individual directory is just going to be too much work, too time consuming, uh, a more, uh, an effort that you would not want to do without automation. So very quickly, we realized a need to uh, get into an enterprise tool or dashboard that would allow us to, again, um, get our, our, our citations cleaned up and managed. And that was achieved through, uh, through our work with Ubrol. Uh, in addition, uh, we also work to to have our store locator set up. This was actually an idea from Uberall. A store locator is very simple, uh, a page that defines uh, your business, your location. It has very simple information on it from the uh, uh, office operating hours to methods of payment, things of that nature. And so uh, we, we again uh, build that out with Uberall. Uh, it does have its own uh, piece of SEO juice, so a wonderful product, uh, definitely an add-on that we didn't expect, but uh, appreciate to this day. Uh, and with 200 locations and what we do, there is always a need for an enterprise level of monitoring and, uh, I guess, uh, observation. So uh, with, with Uberall, we're able to get our monthly reports. Uh, the reports tell us the uh, kind of statistics that help to determine um, how accurate the listings are. Uh, it also points to, to areas where there might be some concerns or uh, areas that the locations are not syncing. So uh, it helps us to fine tune and very quickly uh, hone in on, on where the work and effort needs to be to resolve, again, those, those, say, uh, those, uh, those kind of uh, consistency, uh, inconsistencies or issues that do arise. Um, uh, last and least, there is also the uh, reverse effect of having an enterprise tool. Um, location managers, these individuals that manage the business, must also be able to log in and get reporting for their individual business without being able to see their uh, competitors or the other locations. So with that said, it's been, it's been a bit of a, a learning curve. Um, location managers aren't always savvy or knowledgeable about uh, you know data that is out there and is available to them, uh, such things as uh, the number of clicks or phone calls to your location, a number of uh, views of your photos, but this data is very evident and can be very easily seen when our location managers log in individually uh, with their own uh, credentials into the Uber dashboard. So uh, again, those those were the challenges, finding a enterprise tool that allows us to um, manage our listings, but at the same time give us insights as to our performance and our uh, reputation online, again, all achieved with, with the Uber dashboard. Back to you, Marissa. Absolutely, yeah. I do clearly remember these challenges that you brought to the table when we first um, started, you know, talk to each other about this and how to best solve this. Now, let's look into some of the solutions that we implemented together over time, and um, let's have a look at some of the results that they yielded as well. So we'll start off with listings. Um, as you all know, probably the important thing about business listings is that. The data we want to show customers and potential customers, of course, is complete and accurate everywhere they search for it and at all times. Because if a company like Carry Services cannot be trusted with their own data, how can we expect customers to trust them with their highly sensitive requests, such as a funeral, for example? Now, what we did is we set up listings for Carry Services for all of their 200 and plus location across the United States. Um, that's, you know, cemeteries, that's um, cremation services, that's funeral homes. And we made sure that these listing profiles are optimized to include all of the relevant information that customers need. And we published them across more than 55 directories, apps, mapping services, social media sites, and especially inbuilt car navigation. So as I said, these listings can be found everywhere people are searching for the information. Now, looking at the results, um, we saw a 104.4% increase of impressions on Google, which really just means that we did SEO quite well in this case. So when people look for a funeral home near me or a cemetery, Houston West, for example, um, this is where we want the carriage services listings to show up. And they do. 
is what the numbers tell us, right? Now, we also get a more than 30% increase of clicks on Google Profile. So that's literally people um, you know, pulling up their phones or their tablets or they're on their desktop computers, um, searching for a funeral home or a cemetery or cremation service. And they not only see the Google Profile, they don't only get the impression, but they click on it. Now, we saw a 10% increase of clicks on driving directions. You're, you've all seen that when you pull up a Google profile of a local business, you can click to directions or click to navigate. So this is um, the metric we're measuring here. And it's quite a good proxy for actual foot traffic, right? Because the moment I click to navigate on a Google business listing, um, that's my intent to actually go there and visit that, that storefront. Um, quite impressive is a 44% uplift of clicks to the individual carriage location websites. So that's, I guess, mainly people doing their research, um, going through the page, um, trying to understand whether this is a service they want to go for or not. And then lastly, we saw a 28% increase of clicks to call. So that's people looking for a service. They see the Google profile, they click to call, click directly. And the call goes obviously to the carriage services location um, in question. Is there anything that you'd like to add, Wayne? Yeah, I'd, I'd just like to try and maybe break it down a little bit. I mean, the topic mm -hmm. is the you know establishing trust through location marketing, and, and that translates to data. Um, without speaking the obvious, the data points uh, that are represented um, include, for example, uh, photos, right, as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of our locations uh, don't have uh, the most updated photos and with the ease of Uberall, we can log in uh, to the location uh, asset. We can upload updated photos uh, at one time and then Uberall, uh, through its uh, mechanisms and machine there, is able to kind of blast that out and update our Google pages and all mm -hmm. the other directories. So again, saving time. Uh, other data points include, uh, we don't necessarily have it, but uh, you know, office hours. Um, I can see other industries and markets wanting to have uh, or to post specific uh, hours around the, the holiday periods. So again, the overall dashboard allows you to do that in a one-stop shop. So uh, that, that's, that's the beauty, I think, there, that again, you're able to control your data uh, through, one, um, through, through one medium and from there kind of have that data be uh, replicated throughout the web and internet, uh, making it trustworthy data, data because it is consistent. The same data, the same operating hours, uh, the same photos uh, could, could be viewed uh, across the different directories. So again, uh, that speaks to, to uh, you know, the trust that is, is, is uh, achieved through the Uber dashboard. Back to you, Marissa. Absolutely well said. So looking at the next solution that we implemented for carry services, that's a location finder, as you can see on the little screenshot here on the left hand side, um, that comes with individual pages for the individual physical locations um, that carriage services manages. Now, the way we look at that is when carriage services first talked to us, they really wanted a good way for investors and potential investors, but also for customers and potential customers to have a good way to navigate all of their different physical locations on their own brand website. As you can see right here, this is a locator that we implemented into the carriage services website. Um, so that's a map for a high level view of all locations that you can zoom into, as well as individual location pages. Um, talking about trust and, and closing that loop again, um, what we really want to achieve here is not only to present uh, very accurate, very consistent information on every single physical location, um, but it also needs to look professional, right? So you don't want to call a funeral home that does not have a professional looking, um, well enriched landing page. So this is why we, why we put this up. Now, when you look on the screenshot on the right hand side, there's a, an example of one of the location landing pages. This is Bailey Funeral Home, and this is how they're all built, basically. Um, the idea is for folks to be able to see things like, um, you know, the logo, um, the photo gallery, opening hours, payment methods, a description, 
um, contact details at a glance without looking around too much. People um, don't want to spend a lot of time on these websites, so we want to make sure it's all super precise. Now, the best thing about it really is that this structure really helps locations to get found for anyone searching for things like funeral home near me, for example, um, due to the SEO juice built into these pages. Um, so being found more often means getting more business and helps the brand represent themselves professionally on both a corporate and a location level. Um, Wayne, does that sound about right? No, that's that's perfect. I, I couldn't add any more. <laughs> so you've done a great job explaining <laughs> that the usefulness of, of this page. I, again, uh, this was uh, an idea that came from Uber uh, and we very quickly adopted it. We did have a need to um, have one page that the shows to our investors, the uh, the, the, the locations that uh, we, we operate throughout the country. Uh, in addition, the additional landing page is, is again, just another uh, citation on the web, uh, providing additional juice back to uh, the Google and, and the web engine to uh, uh, authenticate our locations. And that's, that's we've, we've seen uh, good evidence of that. Um, I just want to mention, Marissa, that you know, in working with, with your team, that I noticed how um, easy it was to implement. Uh, first point mm -hmm. is that this is actually a uh, byproduct. It is integrated into the dashboard. What that means as as a funeral home consolidator, there are uh, periods of the year where we add more funeral homes, and we do that in the dashboard, and it automatically will add to this location page here. So there is uh, the technology there is, is very well integrated. If we make any changes, uh, again, uh, we're doing it in one place in the main Uber dashboard, and that trickles out to this location and these store pages. So uh, very, very easy to use. I also recall, Marissa, it was a, a process that didn't take more than a week. I think we produced an Excel sheet of all the different data points, you know, handed that off to uh, the Uber team and uh, in, in 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 a few days, uh, it was everything was up and running. Of course, we went through our moments of doing the uh, you know user case studies and and the tests and whatnot. And I think from there, we both learned from each other uh, the enhancements that we we could make. So uh, again, just speaking to the the, the relationship and and how well things ha have been uh, to produce these these uh, these these products that we're seeing today. Back to you, Marissa. Yeah, absolutely, that's awesome, Wayne. And um, sometimes I think you know this better than I do, to be honest. <laughs> Another thing, um, now that you mentioned the team and, and how it felt like working on this project together, especially around uh, login and pages, uh, what's really cool about this is that you, Wayne, and your team, you've come up with so many very specific requests to really improve the user experience of both the map and the search function and the individual pages. Um, they did not look exactly like what we see here on the screen when we started talking, but you really pushed for some of these improvements. And the cool thing is, after we implemented it for you, um, it became part of the standard locator and pages setup. So all of our customers and partners going forward, they um, benefit from your input on that. So thank you again for that. There was um, a great collaboration for sure. Agreed. Now. The third solution that we put in place is um, a reputation management solution, really. So here at Umbral, we call it Engage. And what it does is it helps carriage services have visibility of incoming reviews across all of their physical locations, across all of the relevant um, websites and apps they get reviews from. So they get quite a bit of you know, volume from Facebook reviews. They get a lot of star ratings on uh, Google. Um, they get quite a bit on Foursquare. Um, so this really helps um, and helps the individual um, funeral directors, for example, understand what customers have to say about the locations, about the service, um, about the, the packages that they bought. And here's a way to really make that visible to everyone involved um, in form of a dashboard. Um, so Carriage responds to reviews quite well, actually. So they, they, the review monitoring and responding is part of the internal Carriage Services workflow. They found a way to integrate that into their um, ticketing system to make sure that individual businesses actually follow up on reviews and respond back to them, uh, which they can do 
through the overall dashboard as well. Um, they're quite good at that. The last time I looked at the numbers, um, they had responded to around 95% of all reviews. And we're talking a volume of around 2,000 reviews that they've received in the last year. Um, that is quite a bit to manage, and they did it really, really well. Now, talking about responding to reviews, by the way, I'm not sure whether everyone can see the screenshot here, but I want to show you an example of how the team is trained over that at, at Carriage. So you see an incoming review here. It came um, through Google Search 21 days ago. Um, the customer wrote, wonderful staff, the kind of people um, that make you feel like family. Thank you, Lane's Funeral Home, for all you did. And then below, you see a little gray box that says your answer. And Carriage Services wrote back, you are family. Thanks for your confidence in us. And you know, whenever I see that, um, my heart skips a beat because I feel that's done so well. And the Carriage Services team has been so good um, and so appropriate and so unique in their responses. Um, they just make very, very good use of the knowledge that they have on review best practices and how to really use this tool to their um, to help their customers and really engage with them. Um, now, other than that, they can leverage the data to improve their business operations. So they can, for example, identify potential for improvement by looking at, say, low star ratings um, as an indicator for a location that might require training. Um, they can look at things like sentiment analysis to understand um, what the staff might require training on specifically. Um, as they look at keywords customers mentioned in positive and negative reviews. Um, yeah, that's really it. Uh, Wayne, anything that you can tell us about your experience working with um, Engage? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think it's it's in this day and age, we all understand the power of reviews. Uh, most of us will read reviews before we buy into a service, and that certainly applies to our industry as well. Um, this is technically our reputation management uh, engine. Uh, we do get alerts uh, from a, uh, I guess, high level point uh, here at corporate. We, we get those alerts come in, but individually our locations also get the same alerts. Uh, these are emails that say, you've got a new review, it'll give you a brief outline. Uh, through one click, uh, frictionless, you, you, you are able to get to the dashboard. And from there, uh, as you can see with this, this display here, you have the field to reply. Uh, you simply type your response, hit submit, and it's 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 posted relatively quickly. Um, so easy to use. Uh, there's no excuse to not use it. And I think that's helped with the adoption rate from our uh, location managers. Uh, again, uh, the tool makes it easy. So why wouldn't you use it? Uh, and, and we are using it essentially. Uh, in addition, uh, correct Marissa, you know, you can gain data from uh, these reviews. Uh, I'm seeing in dashboard as well, I think it's a relatively new feature, but I'm seeing some word analytics, some word uh, analysis, uh, some frequency of words that will help you determine, uh, you know, how your business is operating and what the hot topics are. And this might be staff, professional, family, funeral. So uh, those, those, uh, I'm starting to see some AI possibly coming out of the, uh, the Uber engine here, but uh, maybe I'm giving it too much away, Marissa. I'll, I'll recline that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Back to okay. you. Gotcha. I like it. Um, so yeah, thank you, Wayne. Um, what's in store for us in the upcoming month? Yeah, so uh, digital is, is is definitely hot and heavy here at Carriage. Um, I, I, there was a void uh, prior to, to me being here. Um, a very, of course, traditional market and not one that is um, trendy to work in or to think about. So uh, no excuses uh, to this day. We are heavy into to revamping our presence uh, online. Uh, we went through to a new CMS for our websites about a year ago, but guess what? It's it's an it's been a year, so we're rehauling that. We're understanding the importance of uh, uh, you know your, your your profile online to include not only the data, but as I mentioned before, the photos. You'd be surprised. Many of the locations still have uh, kind of you know pictures and a profile that doesn't represent what they are today, but that all needs to change. So that those are our efforts moving uh, into the digital space and the, the next. Uh, couple of years here. Um, aside from that, just co continuing to collaborate with Uber. I think there are some other products, features that we haven't explored yet. Uh, this includes the, the 
page search and Google Ads, and also the ability to post uh, out to Google, uh, to the Google My Business page. Uh, again, uh, I think there, 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 is, there are nuggets of gold there. Uh, we need to get our hands around that, understand that, and to use the Uber dashboard to, uh, to make these posts uh, so that they are more engaging and uh, we can see more returns on, on our investment online with Uber. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here and uh, certainly looking forward to uh, expanding our relationship with, with Uber. Back to you, Marissa. Thank you, Wayne. Um, yeah, thank you. We all really enjoy working with you, obviously, um, and I'm looking forward to our upcoming projects. Now, let's see whether we've got any questions from the audience. Let's see. All right, I've got one here. Um, Wayne, I think that's for you, actually. Uh, why overall above other vendors? Why location marketing? And how did you know about it? Uh, how much did you know about it? Sorry. Yeah, no, um, you know, admittedly, Uber isn't the first um, vendor, or whatever you'd want to call it, that we've used. Um, this is our third year in the space of listing management. Uh, a previous vendor, uh, the, the data we were seeing was not consistent. Uh, that was on a few different occasions over the period of, of 12 months. So uh, that led us to obviously have to look for a, a replacement. Uh, Uber all, um, I think the decision of Uber all was based largely on the large footprint and maturity of Uber all in the European market. Uh, so we felt that uh, that was a good match. Uh, I we took that red pill and uh, to this day, it's, it's, it's been a wonderful uh, partnership ever since. Uh, the data is a lot more consistent. Uh, the feature sets are, 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 are you know, quite, uh, there, there are plenty of feature sets, uh, as, as we've kind of evidenced through, the, through this webinar here as well, and there are still more that we need to explore, so uh, we're, we're very happy. Uh, what do we know about uh, listing management and these tools and these vendors? Very little prior to uh, three or four years ago. Uh, only when you have that need do you, uh, you start to look into it and investigate. Uh, so we've gone and hashed through quite a few different vendors, but uh, again, uh, Uber has, has, has been very superior, uh, uh, a superior experience uh, working with them, but also the technology is, is proven out. So uh, that, that's, that, that's the answer there. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. Um, here's another one. Uh, how important is being findable to a business like yours? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I think that's very key. Um, uh, you know, once again, uh, most people aren't shopping seasonally for, for our specials because we don't have it. Um, most of the time, uh, our customers are, are families uh, that are what we call uh, at need. Uh, they unfortunately at the hospital and, and with a loved one, it's three in the morning and uh, they need that moment at, at, in time to find a uh, funeral home near me. So uh, hyper-local is, is essential. Uh, the ability for us to be found uh, locally, uh, again, uh, works to our favor when our citation and our data is consistent and the trust is there. So uh, it all plays together, but uh, uh, being findable, if, if we're not being found, when we're not making business, uh, not making any money, so uh, it's, it's, it's very key. And you know, being able to be found 24-7, um, again, the, the, the death has its own comes at its own time, uh, so that all, all that plays in. Um, the trust has to be there again, and and that's what we are using Uber to to convey to our communities and our, our prospects. Back to you, Marissa. Great, thank you. So that's all the questions we have for today, and it's all the time we have for today, actually, as well. Um, I hope this was helpful to our listeners. Thank you to my co-host, Wayne. Um, thank you so much. Really appreciated you getting on. Um, yeah. It was great talking to you. Very good. Thank you, Marissa. Just real quickly, congratulations on winning the LSA Add to Action Award. Uh, so you guys did a great job and very deserving of that. So uh, again, congratulations to Uber all. Thank you so much. And as you know, there was teamwork between um, Carriage and Uber all, So. Thank you for that. Great collaboration. Um, yeah, thank you to our listeners as well. Thanks for joining us. Um, feel free to connect with Wayne and myself via LinkedIn um, with any questions that you might have. And coming up is, a, is our next webinar on the 
16th of April, um, the 2019 Location Marketing Checklist, together with the um, LSA, actually. Um, I hope we see you next time. Thank you.